So in this video, I wanted to show you a new Cloud Design Box web part that can add some design flair to your SharePoint sites. If you like our videos, why not subscribe? Click the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the screen and we'll notify you of all the videos we post. So I've got a site that I've designed here um, and I've got some uh, news and information, some first stock images, and I've also got some sectioned areas here where you can see this green band across it. It's quite nice to break up the content with those colored uh, bands as you go down the page. And um, probably need to add a bit more spacing in there. Um, but what we've added is the ability to add um, a few new features to the page. So if I edit this page, and for example, if I want to give this page um, a curve instead of a straight line, if I press the plus button and add a new full width section, you'll see that there is a Cloud Design Box web part called Section Breaks. And inside here, if I select that and just go to the Pencil tool, you can see I can select a number of different curves. Now at the moment it's completely white and that's because I need to set the section background of this section to the theme color. And then you can see that uh, that curve appears and we can go and we can choose from a small curve at the top, um, a large curve at the top, you know, depending how we want to break down that page. We'll add some more options soon as well. And then what I could do then at the bottom of this is add another section, another full width section. And again, I can color this with the theme color, choose the CDB section breaks and Instead of, instead of add the top curve, I can add the, the bottom curve. And if I just publish that, what it looks like now as we scroll down the page is you can see we've got the green curve with that section in without it being completely flat. So it just gives you a few more options to make it look a, less, a bit less like SharePoint. And this also works on a mobile device as well. So if we switch to the mobile view and scroll down, you can see all the out-of-the-box web parts look great anyway. But also when we get to that curve, you can see it still appears in the mobile view and again, still looks great. So that's just a little, a little tip to help you make those pages that look a bit different to your typical SharePoint sites and just to add that bit of design flair to your SharePoint site designs.